Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm back. I just woke up, and we finally got some new Blaze Blue news on the next Blaze Blue game. It might not be what you think it is. However, I'm going to tell you why this is also important for the future of Blaze Blue as well. Also, if you guys are going to enjoy this video, because there's going to be a lot of news and information that you probably didn't know about this game, comment for me. So go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe. Let's get into it. So apparently, I was on Steam looking for Blaze Blue. I was like, I'm desperate, right? And I just started looking and I scroll and on Steam, I freaking see Blaze Blaze Blue Entropy Effect. If you don't know, this is the Chinese Blaze Blue action roguelike game that's been going around for over a year now. So what is Blaze Blue Entropy Effect? What it says based on Steam is Blaze Blue Entropy Effect is a roguelike action game, a derivative of the original Blaze Blue license. Into a world where the real and the false are intertwined and why is the music playing again? I hit pause. Steve, you suck. Into a world where the real and false are intertwined and dangerous and explore deeply again and again. The wharf under the neon night, the desolate and depilated ruins, the mystery natural labor several worlds, where different styles are waiting to be discovered. There are not only known enemies, but also hidden stories, except the baptisms of battle, become a stronger self and then evolve from chaos. And only certain people have had access to play it. I didn't know how to use this or use tap tap or even try to do I didn't even want to give myself a headache because I was like, uh-uh, let everybody else that know how to cover mobile games and stuff like that try it out. I got new that it is finally coming soon everywhere apparently it's on the u.s steam store i don't know if steam does this whole region lock thing or anything like that but the fact that i found this on the store and it let me add it to my wish list must mean that it's coming everywhere worldwide a lot of people are scared that it's going to be just chinese only but based on the steam page it says it's coming in three languages it's coming in simplified chinese japanese and more importantly english with full audio and subtitles and on PC, it tells you the minimum specs required to play this game. Pretty much anybody should be able to run this game free on their PC. Intel i3, that's like eight years ago technology. <laughs> and then you could literally just have eight gigabytes of RAM. That's all you need for this game. Now, I've seen bits and tidbits of gameplay, but I haven't really tried to break down what I saw on screen. So there's probably already more information translated about the game already. But I'm here to go about what I see. Okay, in this screenshot right here, we see Hibiki doing some special move with his, his shuriken. Then in this screenshot, you see S fighting out of a mecha robot, which this game looks beautiful. Then I don't know what this is, or just like just the beginning of the game or someplace they land. Then you see Noel fighting a mini boss or enemy with pink colors, so colors will be customizable in this game. There's a Hawkman in his black, like I just stated, colors is customizable in this game. Okay, there's nine. S, Noel, Hibiki, and oh, that green color is saucy. There's S. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay, and I guess you could buy little upgrades for the characters, which will be crazy. Okay, there's um, New 13, I think. Oh, I, I like the characters they have in here. It's crazy that we haven't seen Ragna. Is what is blowing me. Like, we haven't seen Ragna in none of these trailers. Are they holding them off or something? Who knows? But that's what it pretty much looks like to me. This video, you this far in the video and you haven't hit the subscribe button. I would love if y'all subscribe. And it's free to subscribe. You don't gotta pay money. So just keep in mind, hit the bell, turn on notifications, and let's return back to the video. Now, some of you might be turned off why it's called Blaze Blue Entropy Effect over here, but I think everywhere else is called Bla Blaze Blue Chaos Effect. I don't get why they changed the name, but again, I guess they're using Entropy as distortion, as Chaos means like out of control. So I think that's what they're doing. I looked up the definition of Entropy on Google. <laughs> It is safe to say that this game is most likely going to drop in 2023. On the Steam page, it did say coming soon, which I hate when developers do that. Give us a coming soon, at least with a quarter, right? So expect that the worst case scenario that this game is dropping pretty much a year from now. That's that's all I can give you on that. I know a lot of people are also turned off by the fact that it is a blaze blue spinoff and i've seen some people say like i'm not interested in it because it doesn't have any continuation to the story i mean that's a spinoff that's literally what it's supposed to do that that's what spinoffs are you know um 
But I can't even argue that. Kingdom Hearts spinoffs are usually all correlation to the main game, right? It's weird when Blaze Blue does it because it just completely deviates from the main story of games. But what? here's my theory, though. What if Arxis has let people do spinoffs for their games to try to build up the Blaze Blue interest outside of the fighting game genre? So maybe in 2024, like I stated in multiple videos, somewhere 2024 or early 2025, their next game would be in the works. Because I feel like Arxis' whole strategy right now is like, License IP, original IP, and they're gonna go back and forth between those two types of things. That's interesting. I think that's pretty dope as well. I think that's really smart as well from Arc System Works perspective, trying to build their IPs up outside of just the fighting game genre. So when they actually drop the next fighting game or potentially the next game in the franchise, bam, you have a bigger audience that you could grasp for more in that way. And Blaze Blue has a lot of cool characters. I know a lot of people know about Blaze Blue and want to do a lot of cool things with Blaze Blue. Post Yaya here, I just thought about how sick it would be if more fighting game devs try to make other games with their franchises as well than just fighting games, you could probably just popularize and grow your IP through other means. Imagine a Blaze Blue rhythm game. We had one before, but like an updated version of it or a 3D action, you know, hi-fi rush type of game for Blaze Blue. That would be insane. I'm so down with that. We need stuff like that. I know French Bread has been doing it with Melty Blood, or like Melty Blood has like visual novels as well compared to just everything being just Melty or different things. You know, that's type moon money though. But that's what I just want to bring up that thought before I end off. <laughs> and you're probably asking, what is a roguelike game? Okay, based on the Google definition, games like Elden Ring fit the L games like Elden Ring fit the roguelike description or road light would be games like Dead Cells or Risk of Rain 2. So if you feel like the game might get born at one point, no, it's gonna get progressively harder and you overcoming that challenge is what the replayability is usually what it is in these types of games. It'd be a bummer if it's just too easy of a game, but no Arc System works and them letting people do the other games, they might make it hard as hell. We might be stuck here, dude. <laughs> So that being said, it's your boy Avatar Yaya. I want to update you guys on this new Blaze Blue game finally coming to the United States. It's on Steam, added to your wish list. I don't know how much it would cost. Hopefully, if it's it's free like the mobile version, but if not, I'll probably drop like at least 30 on it. That's 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 my peak. That's where I met with it. You know, it's Blaze Blue, so I'm gonna get it anyway. But regardless, if you guys enjoyed today's video, comment down below how you feel about Blaze Blue. Entropia effect. We're not calling it that. Mm -mm -mm. Blaze Blue Chaos effect. Are you going to try it out? Are you ready to watch me play it? And also, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment. It helps your boy out a lot. It helps you a lot. And remember, you guys are golden. Nat is raw. Squala, peace, and I'm out. I've been a devil, I need me a hawk in the water I'm breathing, I feel well like time's raw Walking this bitch with a sound box I wanna let you rock it, I keep me a domino Bitch, I'm a dip and I feel like a Zaki Stretching that pussy out like it's Pilates I'm dashing the soul, I quite out of a body Fire, I'm spitting, I feel well like Dobby White bitch, blonde hair, looking like Lucy She from Kyoshi, I paint her face suit